Hey everybody, I'm in Sumter, South Carolina now at Swan Lake Iris Gardens and the reason I'm here is because this weekend is going to be the Iris Festival. So they always have it on Memorial Day weekend every year and that's whenever all the irises are hopefully blooming. But I'm going to be on vacation this coming weekend so I won't be in town and I won't be near here. So I'm going to go ahead and come today and see how everything's looking. Hopefully the irises are still blooming. If not, maybe we can see some swans, but get ready to go for it. You can see what I'm gonna see and I'll see it along with you. Over here you see they got the QR codes you can scan, Memorial Weekend, irisfestival.org, Iris Festival, Swan Lake, Iris Gardens. So I think that's very appropriate to have an Iris Festival at the Iris Gardens. thousand times. There it goes. Oh, it's somewhere in. So it's actually going to start this Thursday afternoon. That'll be the first night of it. And then it kicks off Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And they're going to have all kind of vendors here and they're just gonna be doing boat rides this weekend. So you can get out there and actually get on the lake, which is very rare. I think the only time they do that is actually for the Iris Festival. That little girl's just still sitting there all these years. So the swans are out here eating lunch, I guess. Maybe a meal down for each night. That's the recovery sculpture, and it says, this sculpture represents the right wing of a pintail duck in its recovery stroke. This theme evolved from a wing position that is considered the weakest in bird flight, yet in the artist's eye is the position with the most beauty and grace. All of us are in recovery somewhere in our lives, as is our environment of which Swan Lake is a unique part. And then over here, the irises are starting to come into view. If I get that swan five dollars if it come over here and pose with the iris, that would be so pretty. Guess I'll just have to take him from a distance.
these are hydrangeas. They're not irises, but anyway, they're pretty. So that's really pretty right there. And over here, we got all the turtles chilling out on the tree stump. So I've always enjoyed these three trees right here. One of them just looks like it's leaning into the other. <laughs> it's really cute. to say they do have a little bit of azaleas left. So these must be some knockout azaleas. This is a beautiful day, Lily. Absolutely gorgeous. So over here we have some more iris. have a family of swans. You can see the baby and the mama and the daddy. I may not be getting the swans with the iris, but at least I'm getting the iris. And that's the main objective of the video today anyway. Even though it would be pretty if a swan would get near him. We're still just a rushing today. All the way down. It's a squirrel over there. I think quite a few squirrels today. Apparently, <laughs> they don't want to be on video. That's okay. Oh, I see it's got a friend over there. Maybe it's going to meet it.
So now we're over here on the side, which is at the back. And you can just walk along. Oh, there's one in flight. There's some swans up there, but I think they're moving faster than I can walk. They're in the water. It's so pretty and graceful. Maybe you can see them this way at least. Maybe not. Oh well. There they go. Let me see if I can catch up to them. So they're over there right now, so maybe I can get to them. But here's a sign telling you, caution swan habitat, please observe, but do not disturb. The swans and other birds can be aggressive. So this is usually a patch of iris right here. It's usually the yellow one, but I guess it's already bloomed for the season. But this over here, I think, is where they're going to be doing the boat rides this weekend on this little dock. So I guess that's a feeder that they put there now. That has not always been there. Oh, it is. That's new. Or new since I've been back here, put it that way. I think they're moving.
but there's one that's up on the straw right now. And just puffed out his wings. I was walking away and he went boop. I think they might be building a nest. I'm pretty sure that one's on a nest since they got a caution thing around it. I thought it was a statue at first until I saw it moving. So over here is the butterfly garden. It's actually in bloom right now, so it's really pretty. Ooh, there's a butterfly. Can I be? shows you the different varieties of the butterflies. You got the spice bush swallowtail, gulf fritillary, black swallowtail, cloudless sulfur, monarch, buckeye, and there's the life cycle. Also have a little butterfly walkers down here on the ground, and then of course the ever famous butterfly chair that you can pose in. I just have to pose in a chair by myself because mom's in the car. So this is the best butterfly I can be. I don't know how that's gonna look, but whatever. I think they should get these at Dollywood so you can sit in the butterfly chairs while you're at the butterfly capital of the world as far as theme parks go. It's very comfortable too. And I hope nobody's looking and thinking I'm crazy, which everybody's slightly crazy anyway, but you know, that's just a true story. my little butterfly chair over there. I'll sit it next time I come. Oh, they got some butterflies on the butterfly bush, so that's very appropriate.
There's a bunch, pretty group of virus. Turtles are down there. There's a swan over there. If it would just come closer, it'd make it perfect. This might be as close as I get to the swan and the iris being together. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. I don't know if that one's taking a shower or what it's doing. This little duck's just down here like nobody's paid me a bit of attention. Every time it gets near that flower it dives down. It obviously wants to look pretty for this weekend the way it is grooming itself over there. Now it is bath time for all of them. And now from all directions come the Canadian geese. Got some coming from the left, some coming from the right. Here come the rest of them.
That's cute how they're all like in single file. Ow. God, Lord, there's more coming. <laughs> I finally got a swan that's doing it with the iris. So this whole section back here is beautiful. I love that they did this. This was not always here. They put this in here probably the last two or three years. And I like it because it gets you out a little bit closer on the water than what you previously could get out on it. So you can see the swans and all the iris. And then back here is the highway. Pretty sure this was a gardenia. Yep, that is what that is. So just in case you've never watched any of my videos from Swan Lake, I'm gonna go through the swans again, because this is the only place in the United States where you can see all eight varieties. So that was the trumpeter swan. Is the royal mute swan. This is the black neck swan. is the whistling swan. Hello. <coughs> massive birds, massive. I've had pink shoes on before and that swan chased me around with those pink shoes. So I'll make sure I don't wear pink shoes whenever I come here. So this is the black swan. This is the whooper swan. That's the Costco swan. And that is the Bewick swan. You know, that's the crosswalk up there. It'll take you to the other side of the road where the swampy side's at. Now, 
have a lovely fountain out here. Looks like the swans are coming. I need them to come around the iris. That's what I wanted. I think sometimes people don't realize how big these birds actually are, but that is a huge bird. Whenever they stand up, you definitely know how large they are. little statue of this little boy. He's been walking for years. So that's pretty much the trip around the lake. Because we're back where we started at. So can we all just say that is a beautiful QR code because it's got the iris in it. So just in case you've never been, this is a top-notch Christmas lights destination also. And the thing I love about that is free. I think it's good anytime anybody does things that's good for the citizens of their city. I don't live in Sumter, however. I'm in Sumter quite a good bit. We were actually here on the day that this sculpture was dedicated. The same man that made the recovery statue made this one. So this one's called Seven Swans. And he said he was asked why he only put seven swans on it instead of eight. And the answer was the world was made in seven days. So he put seven swans. It's beautiful though. They're actually tells, tells about the um, seven swans. We were actually here that day, and if you look way back in my videos, you'll see a little bit of the dedication and the artist, because that was back before I knew what I was doing on YouTube, and I admit I still don't know what I'm doing on YouTube, but anyway, I have slightly gotten better since that video. But you can watch, I think it's like a seven minute video of the dedication ceremony before I ran out of space on my phone, and I had to stop what I was doing. It was really pretty on that day whenever they did dedicate it. Dad and I came over for that. This is the official sign out here at the road that welcomes you to Swan Lake. And then of course you see the beautiful sculpture back there and then everything's back there. And that says land for Heath Garden, contributed by A.T. Heath Sr. Garden was designed and planted for a city of Sumter by H.C. Bland and dedicated in 1956.
and there is the visitor center. So it's telling you to use the hashtag Iris Festival if you come this weekend. And it says the Sumter Iris Festival is May 25th through 28th. And that's 2023, just in case you're watching it five or ten years from now. And you can go to irisfestival.org. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and wrap up the video for Swan Lake Iris Gardens. Hopefully you can come for the Iris Festival 2023. This is the kind of picture I was going for, but the swans will not participate. Whatever. I have hit luck in the past. And obviously I am holding this phone with my other hand because as you can see I'm under the driver's seat. <laughs> I'm not under the driver's seat, I'm in the driver's seat. Get it right, Donna. So it says step into a scene from a fairy tale and it welcomes you to Swan Lake. It tells you the beginning of it, the garden today. But since I've got you here, if you're still actually watching the video at this point, it says the beginning. So this tells about how this all came about. In 1927, Sumter businessman Hamilton Carr Bland purchased a piece of swamp land adjacent to West Liberty Street with the intention of developing it as a fish pond and private sanctuary. Assorted materials were used to construct islands in the pond and the banks were built up with refuse and clippings. Also along the banks of the new pond, Mr. Bland tossed Japanese iris bulbs that had failed to thrive in the garden at his home. The discarded bulbs took root in the damp acid soil and more than 85 years later, the iris blooms transformed the gardens in spring into a paradise of singular beauty referred to by Southern Living Magazine as a lovely mistake named one of a be America's best freebies by Better Homes and Gardens and featured as a triple A travel treasure by Home and Away Magazine. Swan Lake Iris Gardens is the crown jewel of the city of Sumter, a showplace of breathtaking natural splendor that brings visitors from up and down the eastern seaboard and across the world. Doesn't that sound exciting? Yes, we come here quite often. Not often enough apparently. They um, got something new back here since we last came. They got a feeder back there for the swans on that thing. So this right here. I thought there was one there last time. Well, if it was, I didn't see it. This says meet the swans. So obviously we cannot meet all the swans personally. So to give you this nice little chart that tells you who they are. And not their personal names, but what variety they are. But this is the only place in the United States that has all eight swans groups. This thing's just going to be all torn by the time I get done with it. So, I would ask you how you enjoyed it, but she had to take a time out today for her legs hurting, which is why I'm driving. Even though I'm not driving right this second, but I will be driving whenever I end this video, because obviously I'm sitting still. <laughs> yeah, definitely sit still. I want you to be over the camera and doing. Oh, this. I can't do that. I can't text and drive or anything. So if you want me, you're just gonna have to call me. I don't text and drive at all. So that's usually why I'm sitting over there because usually I'm the one doing all the video and then uploading all the videos and stuff while we're in the car. But uh, uh, if my legs would have been hurting, you been sitting over here. Yeah, everybody's always like, well, Donna, do you drive? Yes, I drive. I drive anywhere and everywhere. Whenever she gets tired, I take over. So, as you see, I have taken over today because we've been going since 5.30 this morning. We left home, I think. Well, it's yeah. 5.30, wasn't it? Yeah, 5.30 so. left home this morning. It's already 4.30 this afternoon. And so still got some time before we get home. But I wanted to come do this before we go on vacation next week because by then it'll be too late to do this. But I truly well, enjoyed the visit today. If the video comes out in time, whoever wants to come to ours first, but they can come. Oh, it's going to come out in time. I'll make sure of that. I shall load it up and send it out so whoever wants to come visit soccer in the Iris Festival can come, see the swans, see the iris, see the vendors, see the food trucks, whatever in the world, all they're going to have here. You can come. But I gave you the website you can go to to find out what they're doing. So that's going to do it for this one. going to go ahead and wrap it up. So, you need to go say anything? If you have has not subscribed, please do. It's make my day whenever somebody subscribes. It does. It does. Um, she watches that like a hawk. And we always also realize if anybody unsubscribes, I always wonder which video did them in. <laughs> It's like if you lose a Facebook friend, what did you post that finally sent somebody over the edge? So, who knows?
knows? I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, that's going to do it for this one. If you did like, you can like, comment, share, whatever your heart desires. And as always, if your heart desires none of that, don't worry about a thing I just said. But have a good day. If you get to come to the festival, hope you enjoy. And we'll see you somewhere else. So, toodaloo. Bye. Bye.